بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم وی ول کنٹینیو انفیکشن رائزنگ فرام میگزری ٹیت ان دس ویڈیو وی ول ایکسپلین انفرا ٹیمپورل اسپیس انفیکشن اینڈ میگزری سائنس انفیکشن سو فرسٹ انفرا ٹیمپورل اسپیس انفیکشن انفیکشن آف میگزری تھرڈ مورر موسٹ کامنلی کنٹریبیوٹ ٹو بیکٹیریا اسپریڈ ٹو دا انفرا ٹیمپورل اسپیس دا انفرا Temporal space is a potential facial space that may be involved in the spread of maxillary odontogenic infections. Uh, it is a space that lies posterior to the maxilla. As far as the boundaries are concerned, uh, the infratemporal space is bordered medially by the lateral pterygoid plate of the sphenoid bone and superiorly by the base of the skull that is the infratemporal surface of the sphenoid bone and is continuous laterally and superiorly with the deep temporal space therefore infections involving one of these spaces usually involve the other space the infratemporal space is bordered laterally by the ramus of the mandible interiorly by the posterior surface of the maxilla and posteriorly by the tympanic plate and steroid process vital structures within the uh, space include uh, but not limited to the branches of the internal maxillary artery and pterygoid venous plexus the pterygoid venous plexus has clinical significance the pterygoid plexus is unique in that it provides emissary veins they travel through foramina in the base of the skull and connect with the intracranial dural sinuses hematogenous spread of infection uh, from the jaw to the cavernous sinus may occur uh, interiorly via inferior or superior ophthalmic vein and posteriorly via emissary veins from the pterygoid plexus Infections reaching the pterygoid plexus may travel directly to the cavernous sinus because the veins of the head and neck lack walls to prevent retrograde propagation of bacteria. Due to the deep location, infections in the infratemporal space are difficult to examine adequately in the clinical setting, although temporal fullness may be visible. Uh, clinical symptoms of pain christmas and fever are more likely to be diagnosed as a giant or muscle disorder therefore ct is required for correct diagnosis now uh, maxillary sinus infection the spread of periapical infections from maxillary teeth may erode superiorly and penetrate the floor of the maxillary sinus causing maxillary sinusitis and perhaps also spread to neighboring sinuses of note odontogenic infections are implicated in 10 to 40% of cases of the maxillary sinusitis and up to 75% of unilateral cases of maxillary sinusitis however maxillary teeth as a source of sinusitis are often overlooked clinically in fact patients will often be treated with medical and surgical management for chronic rhinosinusitis without assessing the dental disease as a potential contributory factor any violation of the schneiderian membrane may precipitate maxillary sinusitis either from the spread of the periapical infection or penetration by a dental implant or in iatrogenic injury from the sinus membrane elevation for placement of a bone graft so there are number of causes of the violation of the schneiderian membrane that lead to maxillary sinusitis the most common in aerobic gram negative bacteria found associated with odontogenic related maxillary sinusitis include streptococcus peptostreptococcus and fusobacterium species aerobes include streptococcus and staphylococcus species these organisms are present in 75% of cases of odontogenic uh, sinusitis and acute infection less common but more difficult to treat etiologies include aspergillus species The most common clinical findings in maxillary sinusitis uh, include facial pain, 
post nasal discharge and congestion odontogenic maxillary sinus infections may also spread superiorly through the ethmoid sinus or the orbital floor to cause secondary periorbital or orbital infections Surgical management of the sinus in odontogenic related maxillary sinusitis include open surgery or functional endoscopic assisted sinus surgery. Thank you. Wish you best of luck.